In the previous lecture, we had discussion on bidirectional and unidirectional elements, and now we are going to understand what are lumped and distributed elements. And we will begin our discussion with lumped element. An element is said to be lumped element when the physical size of the element is negligibly small when compared to the wavelength of the electromagnetic wave propagation. For example, resistor, capacitor, inductor, etc. And now we will try to understand why resistor, capacitor, inductor and other such elements are lumped element. And for this, we will calculate the wavelength of the electromagnetic wave propagation. And we know the velocity is equal to lambda multiplied to f, where v is the velocity, v is the velocity. And we know the velocity of electromagnetic wave in vacuum is equal to the speed of light. Therefore, v will be equal to 3 multiplied to 10 raised to power 8 meters per second. Lambda is the wavelength. It is the wave length which we want to calculate. F is the frequency which is usually 50 hertz or 60 hertz. And for this particular calculation, I will consider the frequency to be 60 hertz. From here we can say that the wavelength lambda is equal to velocity divided by the frequency and velocity is equal to 3 multiplied to 10 raised to power 8 meters per second divided by the frequency which is 60 hertz or we can write 60 1 over second. Now when you focus on the unit you will find we have meter per second divided by per second. When you simplify this you will get meter as the final unit. We are having the wavelength which is actually the length of the wave when measured from one peak to another peak and as it is length it should have the unit as meter which we are getting when you simplify the numerical values we are having you will find the final value is equal to 5 into 10 raised to power 6 meters or we can write it as 5 thousand kilometers so we have calculated the wavelength it is 5000 kilometers which is a very very large length when compared to a simple circuit and therefore the attributes of the circuit like resistance capacitance inductance etc are supposed to be concentrated into electrical components like resistor, capacitor, inductor, etc. Now let us move on to the definition of distributed element. An element is said to be distributed element when the physical size of the element is comparable to the wavelength of the electromagnetic wave propagation. For example, transmission line. If you have taken the course power system then you must be knowing about the transmission line. They are required to transfer the electricity from generating station to city and the distance between the generating station and the city is usually very large. For example, let's say our transmission line is 1500 kilometer long. So when you compare 1500 kilometers with 5000 kilometers you will find they are comparable they are comparable and hence transmission line is an example of distributed element and therefore the resistance 
capacitance and inductance is distributed throughout the line. So I hope you now understand what are lumped and distributed elements. Now there is one important point which you should remember. KCL and KVL are applicable only when the elements are lumped. When the elements are distributed, we cannot apply KCL and KVL. And till now you have seen we have applied KCL and KVL when the network is having resistor, capacitor, inductor and other such lumped elements. So this is all for this lecture. I will end it here. See you in the next one.